terrible. I've been ranting for six and a half minutes. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title and the stack of stuff behind me, I'm going to finish out um, what I got for Christmas. Today is January 8th and I just received what I think is the last present of the year for myself yesterday. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Um, the last official Christmas was Sunday, so almost a week ago, as today is Saturday, January 8th, I already said that part, but today is Saturday, so obviously tomorrow is Sunday, so it's almost been a week since I received some of these gifts, and to be honest, I haven't touched any of them. Uh, not that they're bad gifts, I'm just terribly busy and forgetful, but I will start with what I got last, which is what I got yesterday. It's in this really cute little box here. And I don't remember how many are in here. Six. Okay, so I got six different pieces of septum jewelry. Um, I love every single piece in here. The problem is they are clickers. I am terrified of clicker jewelry. I've had my septum pierced for, I think, three or four years. Like, I've had it for a very long time. I think I got it, like, as soon as I turned 18. So I'm 21 now, so... 19, 20, 21, so like three-ish years, um, and I'm terrified of clickers because I got one stuck in my septum, uh, I couldn't, like, open it to get it out, um, so I'm terrified of them, I will try these because they are so pretty, um, there's, like, this one that is super, come on, focus, Super pretty, has like blue beads and like little clear gems. Um, this one has like little flowers. This one is gorgeous. I do believe I have one that looks similar to this, but it's not this dark silver color. It's like white silver. I don't remember why I keep my jewelry. This is what I use to store all of my uh, nostril and septum jewelry in. It used to be a paper clip holder, but I took all the paper clips out. Okay, so I lied. It doesn't look even similar. This is the one I have, and this is the one I just got. Um, kind of same concept, but not the same at all. The next one is probably my favorite one. It's this little bat with red gems. This next one looks like a little lotus flower. And then this last one is one of those, I believe you bend open. Oh, nope, it's a clicker as well. So when I say clicker, if you're unfamiliar with septum jewelry, it clicks open and shut like that. And it's a little alien, super cute. Um, the one I have in right now is called a barbell. These little balls untwist on both sides. You can slip it in and out. Um, that's what I typically wear, as you know. I've worn barbells a lot, um, but I'm super excited to add these to my collection. I guess I should just put them in there. Terrible. I've been ranting for six and a half minutes now. Let's go. So, the, um, okay. <laughs> so, I guess I'll start with what I got from Kane's grandmother. I got the Green Witchcraft book which I already own this, so I'm going to pass this on to my sister or a friend. It's a really awesome book. It's um, a great beginner. And then I also got this really cute witchcraft kit, so I'm really happy with this kit. You open it up and you get 10 little vials of crystal pieces here. Like so. Super cute. I did actually put everything back in this box because I had it all displayed on my um, altar. I got 60 candles. Now you can tell this is straight from China. It says birthday candles. We know that's not what it's for, but 60 candles for candle work. And then I have some herb packets here. Um, I haven't really mentioned it on the channel before, but I am super into working with herbs. Um, 
So I will pass these along to my sister because I have all of these already. So there's like forget-me-nots, mint. I actually grow my own mint and dry it myself, so I will never need mint. Uh, yarrow, you can actually smoke this. It's good for anxiety. Lavender, you can also smoke it. Um, really good for relaxation. Nettle leaf, red rose petals, sow, clover. I also like to source my own clover in the summertime when clover first blooms. The 1000 day red flower. I don't think that's the name of this flower. And then some sage, but I will be sending these to my sister, probably along with some of these candles. I don't really work it does say made in China on the bottom. I don't really do a lot of candle work, so I'm not quite sure how much use I will get out of these, but I do love the crystals and um, stuff like that. So I will pass some of this on to my sister. But I did like the box, it's super cute. Oh, I also forgot to mention, it came with these little pieces of parchment, but honestly, it looks like super thin cardboard. A cute idea, but it is like just super thin cardboard. I would guess there's like 10 pieces here, maybe 15. But I do love that. It'd be super cute to hole punch along the side and like thread them all together with some cute ribbon. The next thing I got... Oh, this was also from his grandma, this little candle. I have no idea what it smells like. It's There's nothing on it, but it has this super soft pom-pom on top. It smells really good. I want to say it kind of smells like Peach Bellini from Bath & Body Works, but I know it's not a Bath & Body Works candle. This is very small. But it smells exactly like Peach Bellini from Bath & Body Works. The next thing I got was from his aunt. It came in this super cute little drawstring bag. And it is the Dr. Teal's Moisturize and Calm Epsom Salt Soak and Foaming Bath with Essential Oil Blend. This is in the scent hemp seed oil. I actually don't have a bathtub. I only have a standing shower, but I do like these salts for my daughter Amelia. It really helps keep her skin nice and moisturized and also she's just having a bad day. Sometimes you just need a little soak in the tub and you feel so much better. So I will definitely get some use out of these for my daughter. The last thing I got was it came in a cute little box, but I threw the box away. Um, little foot lotion oh it's in this uh, scent lavender and some matching fuzzy socks i haven't got a chance to use these usually as you saw on my last what i got for my christmas video i use fuzzy socks instantly i take them out of the package and put them right on i love 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 fuzzy socks and yeah i haven't opened this yet it's still got like the packaging on it it's but oh it has a little seal but i bet it smells amazing but it does smell really good. Yep, that's definitely lavender. I don't know what I plan to do with this little bag, but I definitely want to reuse it. It's just super cute. It's like, obviously you're not supposed to throw it away, but I don't know what else to use it for. Maybe I'll put all the Wishcraft stuff in this bag and give it to my sister as like a really late Christmas gift. I already gave her her gifts, obviously. It's like a month later. But I, um, I'll i just be like, hey, I got these for Christmas and I already have them. Merry Christmas. But that'd be a good way to reuse the little bag. So now you're going to watch me get ready. <laughs> um, I'm not doing anything fancy. I am just going to the store real quick. Um, Kane forgot to buy toothpaste and then I realized we needed paper towels and sugar. I do a lot of baking, so yeah. Will I tell you what I'm doing? I haven't decided yet. I also wanted to wear my glasses for that intro because my eyes have been really hurting lately and I completely forgot, but it's okay. I did spray some toner on my face. I used the Hard Candy Rose Drench Toner and Refresher. Um, it's from the Marilyn Monroe line. I don't know if it's still available, but I do like this a lot. It does have a rose scent, which rose isn't my favorite scent, but I don't mind this. I have another rose product I don't mind. It's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Don't mind this either, but it definitely, definitely has a rose scent. 
that's a really good moisturizer. But yeah, I did spray this all over my face before the video, and I put lip balm on. I used the Ioni Tinted Lip Balm. Um, this was found in that video that I did a few back. But first, I'm going to go into this Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. I'm going to use the concealer shade in this Rimmel London palette as eye primer. I usually use um, my concealer that I put on my face, but I want to see how this works. I know you're not supposed to put concealer on your eyelids as primer, but I don't have oily eyelids, so it's never a problem. For me, but if you have oily eyelids, don't do this. Use a primer. I'm going to turn down my light, I think, one or two more times. I just look really washed out. The eyeshadow palette I'm using is the Urban Decay on the Run palette. It's in Shortcut. I don't know if this is still available. I bought it a really long time ago. I haven't really used it all that much. I want to say I use it quite often because I do see my, like, I do find myself, like, reaching for it, but I just, I don't know, I haven't made a dent in the pans. Maybe the pans are just super deep. This is the shade Shortcut. I'm just going into it. Putting it all over my crease. This is the JS9 brush. I'm going to go into Laced, which is this light shade up here. But I'm taking this number 10 brush, and I'm going to go into Rendezvous. It's this uh, darker shade right here. Just kind of popping it in like this. That looks good to me. I'm going back in with the JS9 brush and just blending everything out, not dipping into any product. I'm really happy with how this looks so far. I'm taking a Beach Cosmetics uh, flat eyeshadow brush here. This is in the number seven. You can't see that, but I'm gonna go into Zone, which is this rose gold color in the corner. Putting a good amount of that on my brush. And putting that on like the inner two thirds of my lid. I guess I should have applied some more concealer. You can't really see, but it's not sticking all that well to my lid. Let me try putting the product on my brush and then taking some MAC Fix Plus spray. That worked a lot better, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Ooh, I really like how this look is turning out. I'm going back into that. JS9 brush and going into shortcut and just blending a little bit 
in the inner corner here just so I don't have any harsh lines. Going in with the JS13 brush and into the shade Gash, which is right here in between Rendezvous and Zone. And putting that in between the two, like this. Back in the JS8, I'm going back into Rendezvous. And then taking JS9 again into Shortcut. I tend to do this like back and forth type deal where I just kind of make sure everything's really nice and blended out. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Also using something from that Hayani video. This is the perfect brow kit. I use this every single day, guys. Like, this is my Ride or Die brow product. Taking the JS7 um, Morphe Jeffree Star brush, running that wax through my brows here. color underneath the wax and go through the front of my brow just because it is kind of sparse So now I'm going to go ahead and do my face. I like to do eyeliner and mascara last just because I decide then if I want to do lashes. So it kind of gives me some time to think about it. I'm going to go into this palette and use probably a mix of these two lighter shades. This is so creamy. It blended out so nicely. Um, it does kind of hold on to drier patches of your skin. I have this like little triangle dry patch on my forehead here and it really picked up that texture. But that's not the product's fault, I don't think. Um, I just have dry skin there. I'm going to go ahead and take this toner spray and uh, spray that area and just kind of blend it all out a little bit more because it just clung right to that dry patch okay that looks a lot better i'm going to take my regular foundation and concealer it's the revlon candid um i have the glow foundation this is in 120 buff and then the this is just the Photo Ready Candid um, Concealer. This is in 010 Vanilla. Just taking these two the way I always do. I really do write, like Revlon products.
for base powder, I'm using the Rimmel Lemon Stay Matte Translucent Powder. I hate that their packaging always rubs off, but it is nice that they have a sticker on the back, so you can at least know what you're using. And this is the... Uh, I don't know the brand, it's worn off, but it says powder on it, but it's a big fluffy brush. I want to say this was Equate Beauty, um, something I just bought at Walmart, but it was like $3, and it's the most amazing face powder brush I've ever used. It's so dense and fluffy. Now that my face base is on, I'm going back into that palette and doing some under eye really quick. done it. To finish off the face, I'm using the Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Bronze and Contour Palette, or Powder. This is in Manly Beach. This is not a full size, I believe. I think this is just like a little trial. I got it in an Ipsy bag, but I actually really do love it. It's super um, pigmented, and I always tend to add way too much. Okay, that looks good, but on camera, it looks bad. Now I am using the Luxie 504 Large Angled Brush. I love Luxie brushes. I used to get them all the time in Ipsy bags. The blush I used was the Kylie Cosmetics Close to Perfect uh, Pressed Blush Powder. I love these products. You get a really large pan, a really large mirror. Oh, sorry for that noise, my heater kicked on. For eyeliner, I'm going to use the Profusion Wing It Super Fine Eyeliner in Black Noir. Ow! And then for mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the... Crispy... Um, collaboration. I don't know who that is, but I liked the packaging, the Galaxy, so I bought it. But I'm going to go ahead and do eyeliner first. I love this eyeliner. It was like $3, too. On camera, they don't look even, but in real life, they do. Maybe it's just in my head. I don't know. Why am I trying to shake this? This is a mascara.
I'm going to skip lashes, but if I were to do lashes, I would use the Duo Dark Tone um, Strip Lash Adhesive. Looks like this. Um, I would use dark because I put eyeliner on and I didn't use my Kiss Liner Lash Glue. I'm going to use the Stolcom, uh, Stockholm, Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm. Yeah. <laughs> Lip Liner by NYX. As you can tell, it's almost like the perfect shade for my lips. It's just a little bit more defined. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Bombshell. This is like one of the little travel sizes. It came with a lip liner. This is in Trendsetter. I also, it came with another little guy like this. It was in Trendsetter, but I've lost him. But I do like this Bombshell color. I don't know why I didn't use the lip liner that it came with, but oh well. Now I'm taking this, clean up this little mascara dot under my eye, and I also clean off foundation and concealer off my jewelry. Just gonna set everything with a MAC Fix Plus. of Hakoranda making waves changing mugs and that is it only took me 52 minutes to get through that but when you see this video it'll probably only be 20 minutes or less because I'm really good at editing anyway Thank you so much for watching. Have a splendid day. If you're wondering what is on my arm, it is henna. All this brown is henna. Obviously, the darker ones are real tattoos, but the brown is henna. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next one.